This film is about site planning for emergencies. Even in an emergency, nobody wants to live in a camp. Given the choice, anyone would rather live with a host family, in rented accommodation or simply go back and rebuild their home. As a last resort, they may have to live in a camp. However, camps must be well planned to ensure health, security, privacy and dignity. An experienced site planner should be employed as early as possible and a site selection team should be formed. This should be made up of different sectors of assistance, the relevant authorities, as well as members of the host and displaced communities. The planner's first task will be to estimate the number of people to be accommodated and check that the usable part of a possible site is big enough. Each team member will bring useful insights. Sometimes camps are built on a new site, but more often the work will involve transforming a spontaneous settlement. Once a site has been selected, creating a protective environment will involve key elements. Protection from flooding, fire and other safety concerns. Ensuring adequate and safe access to water, sanitation and hygiene for all, day and night. And most importantly, avoiding overcrowding, not only at camp wide level, but also in busy blocks within the camp. It is also essential to ensure enough space per household. In areas that are overcrowded, people are stressed and feel unsafe. Women and girls are particularly vulnerable to violence, including forms of gender-based violence. Fear of violence can prevent women and girls from accessing services and lead to exclusion. Ensure that your team members know what to do if they come across anyone who has experienced gender-based violence and what services they can be referred to. Your team should be familiar with your agency's code of conduct. Sexual exploitation or abuse is strictly prohibited. Camps constantly evolve and require careful management and maintenance. Remember, camps are a last resort. If you have to build a camp, use an expert team including community representatives. Avoid overcrowding to make sure that everyone can access services safely. A well-planned camp will provide a protective environment that reduces risks of violence, including gender-based violence.